Gives it across. Weaver's drive. He scores. Mike Weaver. Here's Weaver at the point. Sends one in front. They score. Weaver scores. Weaver does it all for the Canadians. Well, lots to talk about when it comes to Mike Weaver's career, but we're going to go again to the Canadettes because you have such deep hockey roots here. Your grandfather was the one who actually started that tournament. It's pretty amazing. My uh, my dad is, and m mom has talk, talked about it so many times. Um, it's pretty amazing that my grandfather's built something so so huge. Do you know why, what kind of prompted the, the beginnings of it for him? Well, my mom was uh, one of the captains of the team ah. so uh, I know she was uh, a really good hockey player back then and and uh, it's something that I, every day I just I, to be honest with with my hockey school defense first I, I love working with uh, girls girls hockey uh, I don't tell the guys this but girls actually listen <laughs> <laughs> so the grandfather is Roy that's your mom's dad yeah. and then you have Pat your mom and Ron your father yeah. and obviously Two huge influences and an amazing NHL career, Mike, but you weren't drafted. I mean, you were a great junior, but it wasn't an easy road to the NHL. So tell us how you did it. No, well, obviously you had to have your uh, some uh, parents that drive you to the game every single uh, day, practice. Uh, it was tough. Uh, I was, wasn't was the tallest. I was 5, uh, actually the team said I was 5'10", five, 5'11", five, but really I was 5'8 five, five, and a half. Um, for, for me to make it there, it was uh, just a lot of uh, dedication. Uh, um, stay, staying in the night before a game and just little sacrifices along the way and and the passion to uh, really do it on the ice. I also want to know though, so what, what do you tell young players? Because you actually, what you said in the Players' Tribune, you were at two drafts where your name was not called. Mm -hmm. So how do you kind of overcome that and get back at it? Well, I, I just, one thing with me being yeah. such a short defensive defenseman I'm just like I wanted to concentrate on school right. uh, like sure hockey was my passion but I knew the odds of making it to the NHL were pretty slim um, but somebody has to and I, I just wanted that opportunity to get there but also at the end of the day whether you play one game in the NHL or you play 600 games like myself education is so important mm -hmm. I'm admiring that beautiful set of teeth you have because you did make the decision to eat pucks. <laughs> yes, I did eat pucks for a living, and uh, the NHL paid $38,000 worth of teeth. So it, at the end of the day, I was, uh, that was one, that's one of the things I miss. I miss all the bruises. I miss all the uh, just waking up the next day feeling sore. Uh, I just love coming back to the bench and, and having my uh, teammates just be just so thankful of what I'm doing out there. We're seeing the hit on Patrick Sharp. That's my favorite. Uh, yeah. I'm going to throw names at you. Just out of the blue here. You don't know this is coming. Jared Scaldi, uh, yeah. Rob Brown, Greg Hoggood, Dan Snyder, yeah. uh, Lindsey Hoffert. Uh, these are all men that I really admire and you've been with. Uh, mm -hmm. and there's many more. Mike Camel, I could go on. Uh, yeah. There's six. Uh, pick one. Oh, well, Lindsey Hoffert uh, really uh, did help me, br brought me along uh, to his team, Richmond Hill Vaughn Kings, and uh, he really did uh, help me along the way there. And obviously Dan Snyder, uh, he was a big part of uh, uh, my, my first year in, uh, with Orlando Solar Bears. Uh, he sadly missed every single day, and uh, but I... Everybody, it's amazing the people you meet along the way, and it's, it's what makes hockey so special. Mike, I apologize. We were out of time. Coach them. Uh, we have this uh, show, Tara, there. Okay. That's, yeah. that's an app that you can get. Yeah. Everybody's on it now uh, to learn defense, to learn to play the game. That's Mike's program. Yeah, it's called, it's called Coach Them. It's, uh, it's a coaching platform, completely web-based, and uh, a lot of coaches, we have over 2,500 uh, coaches, uh, 17,000 drills on there now. So, Amazing. Unbelievable. Yeah. Thank you, and congrats on your Bramley Blues career, too. It was a joy <laughs> to referee you, Mike, and to have you on the broadcast wow. and to have your wife and kids here. Thanks for having me. There's Mike Weaver. The Punjabi Hockey Night in Canada crew is on site, and you want to talk about rock stars Woof. in Brampton. Two of them will open the show. Rogers Hometown is next.